characteristics of business. We were talking about the characters of BCK and everything we were talking till now. So, some of the characteristics of business are mentioned in this slide. So, does business create job? Does business create job? Yes, obviously it will. Will they seek for job? No, they are creating the job. And sometimes business will also seek for the job, like B2B and all, business to business, like that. Taking something in and doing some B2B works. B2B related works. Then, does it provide momentum to the economic growth? Yes, tax. When a business starts, there will be taxes and all, which will be eventually. Economy will also grow with it. Then, is it investment related thing? Is it bonded to the thing called investment? Business should. Yeah, businesses are investment intensive. There are uncertainties. As I mentioned already, there are uncertainties about businesses. Sometimes it will grow, sometimes it won't. Depends. But properly planned one will, will be a successful one at the end. A properly planned one. Still, still uncertainties can happen. Just like Corona came up like that. Some uncertainties will can happen. May happen or can happen. Then, it's mainly businesses are systematic. Systematically, they'll be doing the work. Systematically, there will be a system which will be there for the employees or for any other professional to work for. Work for. There will be systematic, they will be organized and they will be efficiently arranged and they will be sometimes be changing also, evolving also. Changing also. Have you heard about the phone Nokia? Nokia. Everyone heard right. It was the best or the best market phone in one time at one part of time. And the farewell speech of the CEO when they shut down their factories and everything here. The speech was like that. We did nothing wrong. Still we failed. They didn't do anything wrong. They were just going with the flow and they were what they were doing already. They were going with the flow. But did they fail? Yes. They didn't change. The change didn't happen. When it comes to Android and all, they were just going with the old technology called Java and all. They were going with that. Others who changed, they survived. Okay. Now, is it objective oriented businesses? There will be an objective oriented. Or there will be an objective, a purpose for a business. There will be some purpose. Mostly the purpose is? Yeah, perfect. Done. You guys learned something. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> What are the economic objectives? What are the economic objectives of a business? Profit. How will you get the profit? Production, then marketing. At the end, at the end, sales. Sales should be there. Profit should be there. Profit, you will get that way. What is ROI? Return on investment. Good question. Any stock with what percentage ROI is a better stock we invest on? Talking about the fundamental analysis. Any stock which has greater than how many percentage, how much percentage of ROI? Okay. I'm talking about this is a very good stock. I should invest on that. Based on the ROI, 5 to 6 percentage, most of the stocks will be having that. Common stocks will be having that. Anything greater than 12 or 15, they are very good stock to invest on. Based on ROI, don't invest based on my tip. Don't get me arrested. Okay. Yeah. Then, social responsibilities should be there. Some of them are funding education, right? Have you seen Nita Ambani promoting education and all? in Mumbai and related to food, even football, sports related education and everything is provided by them. So some kind of social responsibilities should be there from the business part. Then legal, legal objective, as I already told you, what will be the legal objective? 
Obey it. That's all. Anything about legal thing is that just obey it. Obey the laws. Do things abide by the laws. Then ethical responsibilities should be fair, transparent, honest. Everything should be ethically done. These are the things which we have already mentioned about ethical responsibility, ethics and values. You remember, these are the things just like this. Fair. Should be fair. It should be having a it should be fair from the business part. They should show their fair part of the tra how transparent they are. They should show their technical sides or their financial sides transparently to the investors and all. Should be very transparent and all. Environmental objectives. I talked about sustainability. Then there are many other environmental objectives, right? She started the sanitizer firm. Can she dump all the waste to the nearby water body? That's the easiest one. Does it do uh, will she will you do it? Yes. So that's not an that's not an environmental objective of the business. You shouldn't do that. It should be environmentally biological. <laughs> okay. And the main thing. What is the organic objective of a business? Survival. We summed up everything we learned before. That's the only thing in this slide. And you see this picture. People, profit, planet. So organic objective, survival. My question is, which among the following are the organic objective of a business. Option A is survival. Option B is uh, green technology, whatever things. If survival is given, then you can go for survival directly. And if, if both option A and B or both option A, B, C are given, including this green objective, fair or anything, then you can go for A, B, C. Because everything at the end is an organic objective, right? Everything comes with survival, right? Likewise. Okay. See this picture? People, what? The second P, profit. Third P, planet. Everything should be combined to get it, to, for to do a better business in a sustainable manner. Okay. That is the just the pictorial representation. Nothing important from there. Okay. Now we are going to the most important topics. Most important topics. And from the past question papers, you will only see most of the questions from this part of the chapter. Based on the ownership. Ownership of the business. Based on ownership, we are uh, characterizing each business into different types. Okay. Based on the ownership. How people own it or group of people own it. How many people can own it. Like that. We are changing the businesses into different different types. Forms of business organization. Okay. There will be different rights. Right. Some persons will have this, this right to start this business. Some persons won't. Everything we will discuss it here. Okay. First. We will discuss about the First one, sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship. Have you heard about proprietor? Proprietorships. Okay. The first one of what type of business? First type of business is called sole proprietorship. Okay. First one. We will discuss some features. Then you will understand what this thing is. Then you will be able to do the questions based on this. Also. So, okay. First one, autonomy. How many people will be there in a sole proprietorship? Only one. Only one person will be there. One proprietor will be there. So will there be autonomy? Will there be freedom? Yes. Depends on it. We already discussed about that. Then, one of the demerit or the limitation. First one was a merit, right? Why? I can do whatever I want. I am the core. No one else is going to question me. And that's sometimes comes to become a demerit when coming to the capital part. 
we should invest everything from our own i am starting the tea shop i should invest from my own money no one else is going to give me money that is a limitation next one visibility of the owner and personalized services so we are saying that that uh, anna is doing that shop there so actually the shop is famous in his name only even the shop has a name we'll be calling that anna and that shop that tea shop we'll be saying that likewise so the visibility is very high even if some day uh, he is renting that place out he is renting that place out but his tea is very famous his tea is very famous but suddenly he need to vacate the place but he got another shop nearby it so will still people go there yeah based on his face people are going there and his taste how he cook people are going there so that's a merit the visibility of the owner then another limitation the capital is invested by you that's one limitation so the risk is available by your family or you you would you the sole proprietor should take the risk alone that's a demerit i am saying that i invested this much money in this company okay in some company or I, or my own sole proprietor shop i started that invest 10000 rupees the shop fails who will bear the risk me is that a merit or demerit demerit so the investment is a risk that they both are demerit right i invested 10000 i am bearing the risk so both of them are demerits then unlimited liability if some liability come who will bear it me as a sole person i should bear it so it's a limitation of sole proprietor chip got it for every type of businesses these are the features we will be discussing likewise just relate it and think about if you are joining in a partnership form of uh, business then think it as a partner you are having a partner like that in the case of company you are forming a company like that thing and you are investing something likewise you should think and learn from this part then fate of growing concerns or going concern future what do you think as a sole person i am the only one doing it okay can i expand it very widely huh as a only i am the only one doing it i am the single person uh, let it i have some employees also. some employees let, let there be some employees they are doing this tea shop everywhere but can we trust those people also this person itself is the main person with his face it's marketed and all he should be there everywhere can he be there everywhere so the in the future the expansion thing won't happen much it will be a core place that place it will be only the expansion won't be possible so that's the fate of going concern the future the future is limited likewise then succession of ownership i am having the shop so my son or daughter can have it in the future as a succession by will by a written will the succession will be given and if i am dead without even will they can succeed it and if two of them are in different place they will go to the court and they will get the whatever shares they want okay that's the succession now these are the main things we are talking about one is autonomy for the other businesses also we will be talking the same things coming to this uh, sole proprietorship or autonomy i am the only person so it's a merit for me i can just move around whatever uh, if i want to open the shop i can otherwise i don't want that depends on me second one sole provider of capital i am the only one providing the capital so it's a demerit no one else is there to support me i am the only one supporting myself with that comes the risk part also 
So I should bear all the risk. I am the only one. That's also a limitation. One myth is there. What? Visibility. Visibility will be there. I will be visible and that's a positive, uh, what positive or the merit. Then unlimited liability. Then the future thing. We cannot expand much. So it's a limitation. As a business, it cannot be expanded much. And the last one, the succession. How does it work? By will. By will, it will work. Okay. Is it clear? Is this topic clear? Any doubt? Perfect. So it's an MCQ based paper, you know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So just have idea of everything. You will be easily be able to sort it. Thank you, Marking is there? How much? Okay. Which is your favorite subject in Max? The stats and logical reasoning. Logical reasoning. Okay. Then with logical reasoning, how much will you score? Huh? How much you can score from logical reasoning? 20. If you score 20, how much more you should score? 20 more. Still people are failing. Why? Max or you are overconfident? Which one will be there? Both will be there. And overconfidence also plays a part. Because logical reasoning, you will go for every question and you will get negative marking from that side. That's the problem coming to the logical reasoning. So do every problem properly in Max also. And BCK and economics also. Just seeing a thing and don't go for the answer. If you write 44 right, 44 answer right and 16, 16 answer wrong or 17 answer wrong, will you fail or pass? Fail. Fail. 39.75. So always think if you doesn't know about it, just don't go for it. Same here. Okay. Then this is the easiest business you can start. Why? Why? Why sole proprietorship is the easiest one to start? Any, any idea? You are the only person, beauty. No one is there to question you. You can start it without even asking permission at all from other people. So it is the easiest method. You, suddenly you started a shop. Will someone question you? No, you are the, there is the autonomy. That's the autonomy part. It's the easiest one and the, and the what? From the past onwards, many are doing the same thing. Okay. Then, <clears throat> He is considered as an economic hero. The Chayana. Economic hero daily is sell 100 tea. One day is 10 rupees, 1000 rupees. How much? Around 50 percentage return of investment will be there on a daily basis. Like that. Okay. But still people think that he is not earning much. He will be earning more. Okay. Like that. Then, one person band. He'll be doing everything. He'll be doing the HR work. He'll be doing the accounts. He'll be doing the capital investment thing. He'll be doing the marketing. Everything will be done by himself. That's the thing with sole proprietorship. And people's trust will come into play. The business will be based on that person alone. His face. I told you his face. Based, the business will be solely into that the trust, it will be mainly based on trust. Then, numerically, these are the largest. Why? Any idea? Just take the profit percentage we get. Because not many people are there. Uh, even if we uh, invest 10,000 rupees, there's a high chance that he'll earn 20,000, 50 percentage more. Uh, 10, the 100 percentage he'll get the return of investment. Like that he'll learn. Okay, you understand. So, uh, numerically combining the ratios and everything it will be very high. And also the risk is higher low in sole proprietorship. High. We already discussed. You guys already told you understand sole proprietorship. Yeah. So the risk is high because he is the only person bearing every risk. Okay. Then, Working condition of the employees. What do you think? 
the employee is working under him. It will be difficult, right? If he, if the employee is doing bad, nothing is going to happen. He'll fire him, fire him, fire him, fire some, hire someone else. That's going to happen. Condition will be very bad. Working condition will be bad in sole proprietorship. So, sole proprietorship is done. Next one. Hindu undivided family business. Any example? Any example of Hindu undivided family business? Hmm? Mahindra. Mahindra and Mahindra group. Tata group. Everything comes under this HUF. Is it clear? Okay. Now, when it comes to HUF, you will suddenly remember this one. And the next point should be, you know Redan Tata, but there were many other Tatas before, right? before him, right? So, this very important point. Three successive generations of an undivided family are known as HUF. Okay, Hindu undivided family are known as HUF. Just think like that. How many? How many successive generation of an undivided Hindu family is called HUF? Three. Three successive. Options will be four, three, two, one, something like that. It will be like that. Okay. Relevant law. Based on which law Hindu undivided family business is formed? Which one? Hindu succession act 1956. Important. Hindu succession act. 1956, based on that law, it came into being. Then they have a separate tax structure. They have a separate tax structure. Then they cannot earn anything as salary. The members of the HUF cannot earn anything as salary. Okay, that is another important thing. They cannot earn anything as salary. So, formed by birth in a Hindu family. I already thought it will be in a Hindu family. Includes you of Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Sikh. All this thing will form an, it can form an HUF if there, how many successive? Three successive generation. Okay. We'll go for the character. The main, I'll tell you the most repetitive question from this part. Just remember it like this. The main man of an HUF is called Karta. Main man. The most repetitive question in BCK. And he will be the person taking all the risks. All the decisions and also the risk. He will be the person having all the risk. Okay. Now we will go for the feature. Okay. Let's see. First one we know that formed by birth in a Hindu family. So it will be kind of a family business. Is that a merit or demerit? Merit. merit. Why? Why? Family are easy to manage, right? Rather than getting someone from outside. There will be already a trust factor which is already piled there within family. Right? So, based on family. This is based on family. as the name implied and that's one of the merit merit then family pool of resources we can use everyone in the family right everyone in the family can be used for this business someone will be doing some other thing some some uh, if my i am doing one thing my brother will be doing other thing like that with a pool of resources will be there to do the work without even hiring you got it. The meaning is if without even hiring, a pool of resources will be already there. Even if you are good or bad, you are getting the chance to do the business. Okay. That's one of the things. So the pool of resources is within the family itself. Next one. Social capital through family involvement. Any guess what is that? Any guess? Yes. 
from the family itself money will come in right hmm? from the family itself money will come and that money can be used for the business itself is that a merit or demerit merit, merit. it will be a merit okay is all the point clear till now in the question they will be asking some like is it a merit or demerit or even who are the head of this HUF, who are other persons are called what and what is the limitation of HUF, like that it will be coming. What are the features? Three features will be given and they like uh, which is not a feature of HUF, like that it will be coming. Questions will be coming that way. So just have an idea of which are the features, that's all. Okay, we should be very exam pointy, especially for an MCQ based paper, just like Max. Will you be doing tons of papers of solution? No, just use the tricks and all. Similarly, with PCK also. Okay, PCK is vast. Just like the character, it's very vast, but we should simplify it. Okay, Sigriya. One more thing. Family members are automatic co-owners. Is that a merit or demo? Co-owners. Till now, as a resource, it's fine. We can use them to do the works and all. This person is bad at everything. He is not good at anything. He's a very lazy person. But he's a co-owner. Since he is in the family. Is that a merit or demerit? Demerit. demerit. That's why I said, if I am more into that, I can do some other things. Even if I don't do, I'll be a Corner. That's a demerit. As a resource, I will be good. But as a corner, I might not be. I won't be given good suggestions for the company to move forward. I mean the business to move forward and all. So automatically I become a corner. That's a limitation. Got it. Decision making is quick. Why? Who will make the decision? Karta. Karta will make the decision. Whatever the other people say. No. I'll take the decision. No one is going to question me. Egoistic. There will be a decision at the end and it will be made based on his words only. Okay. So, there will be unlimited, as I told, unlimited liability on Karta. Since he is making the decision, he will be the one who will be bearing the risk also. Unlimited Liability. If some liability happens, who will bear it? Karta should bear it. That's the thing about HUF. Others will be there. Tata. Karta, you have it. Like that. Unlimited liability on the Karta. Okay. Question is the liability is dash. In an HUF, the liability is dash on kartas and dash on co parsonaries Unlimited on kartas and limited on co -parsonaries. Okay, perfect. So that idea is clear. That's a one mark. Mostly this time also it will ask. If it comes in the exam, please text me. Okay, after that. <laughs> so how many of you registered for the exam? Everyone registered, right? If someone still didn't register, online people also, if you haven't registered, they said before 31st with late fees. Late fees will be there. Please register it. Otherwise, it will be an issue. You won't be able to write the December exam and the syllabus change will happen in the May yeah. term. Syllabus change is evident in law and economics. Okay. Max and all is almost same. Accounts also almost same. Law and economics syllabus stage is evident so try to clear it this time itself you will finish up the class now itself from now on you can start taking mock test and everything we will give you on a daily basis we will give you a test and all just attend it okay I will tell you one thing last time um, we gave some this much set of mock test to the students and who wrote the entire mock test everyone passed even if they failed on the mock test because that exam fear will be gone. First thing you should tackle is the fear of exam. 
you write as much mock as you can for it, especially for an mcq based paper if you even didn't study anything if you do the questions a lot you can easily pass for sure guarantee especially for mcq based papers okay and even for the theory based also you can do work mainly for mcq it will work for sure max and all just take some question papers and work out it will help you for sure just get the solution questions will be different but the pattern will be same right everything will be abided on pattern everything will be based on pattern this also in bck also i am saying uh, 90 percentage chance this question will come about karta and kopa scenario 90 percentage chance is there because the previous years that much times it have repeated so since the last go there is a high chance that it will come again okay so fate of going concern the last second last picture it's a limitation say limitation why in the future of the business is a limitation why yeah the karta may be a very good person very knowledgeable one and he was taking decision and all but i am a very dumb person i am born to that family i am the next karta okay i don't know anything about it okay will that business sustain no that's the reason for going concern many businesses were there in the past right only few which have survived that's one of the reasons even anil ambani you know anil ambani yes. he was in jail and all for a while there was something called reliance capital and all still in the stock market but it failed but the other ambani is earning crores depends so depends on the thinking process and everything okay so it's a limitation future of going concern the future is we don't know what's going to happen so with the sole proprietorship also it was a limitation or profit uh, sorry merit sole proprietorship also it was a demerit we don't know it's a limitation we don't know how the sun or the future generation will act we don't know anything about it okay then succession succession by will just like sole proprietorship here also it will be done with will everyone in the family will have this much share okay this much share but if a new person is born into the family their share might decrease because they should give this much to that person also like that it works okay Can we go to the next one? Okay, perfect. Agreement. One second, one second. Sorry. Next one is partnership. We talked about two things now. Two businesses: sole proprietorship, it's you have. Now we are talking about the third one: partnership. It is based on which act? Indian Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two. If you want, if they want you to lose mark, they will ask like Indian Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. They want you to lose mark, but it won't happen. If the question is coming, it will be a uh, HUF related act, this related act, and this one will be direct. So easy one mark can be. derived from this topic also when it's asked about the act and laws okay so what do you think a partnership will be hmm. yeah they will be joining and doing the business that's the main idea of partnership perfect any other idea hmm i didn't get you please no issues repeat hmm tell it is carried by all of them or any of them hmm okay we'll discuss about that in the coming point anyway good next we'll talk about the features itself then you will understand what is the purpose and everything about partnership 
if we know the feature of everything then the entire structure will be created right that's the same thing first one agreement agreement is a will there be an agreement between two or two people yes is that a merit or demerit yes why yeah what if it's verbal only Hmm? Basically, it should be in a written format. That's the best one. But still, people are doing it on words, right? Okay, that's based on trust. That's it. on trust also it works, and based on paper also partnership works. Okay, two or more person. They that is both a merit and a limitation. Why is it a merit and why is it a limitation? Any guess? Any guess? Okay, correct. Okay, uh, if I have 10,000, you can also invest 10,000. Right. Okay, next. Any other? Huh? Profit should be shared. Profit should be shared equally. Oh. That's the limitation. Yeah. Why that is why does that become a limitation? That thinking, right? I invested ten thousand, he invested ten thousand. Then profit is fifty thousand. I should get that much together. That's a bit that way of thinking comes up, right? Yeah, that will become a limitation. And also, and also, there is a cap of maximum number of persons. There is a cap of maximum number of persons. This much person should be there, not more than that. How much is it? Depends based on firms. For a banking firm, how much? For a banking firm, 10 and 24 other firms. So they will ask for a banking firm, how many partners can be there? Eight. 10. Okay. So that is a somewhat difficult question that might come because this is a number based question, right? That's why that's a difficult based question. But just think bank, 10 people, robbery, thing like that. 10 people robbery is done. That's all. Mm -hmm. So a banking firm, 10 person. And for others, it's 20. Okay. And also many other complications can come up. What if one of our robbers died? How will be the succession work? Many complications can come up in a partnership. Uh, the, if one partner died, the other partner can take all of it and go right without even giving to the succession successors or something. That can also happen. That's one of the limitations. Okay. Is that limitations clear? Perfect. Okay. Next one. Profit sharing. Profit sharing is a merit. Merit. Profit sharing is a merit. Then business object quite wide. Why? Why? Everything is a question. You should answer. The answer will be almost every time it will be correct. Okay. You can guess. The answer will be correct for sure. Because uh, say knowledge, commercial knowledge that you will have within you if you learn all the other subjects. Why? Business object quite wide. Should be an interactive session. Otherwise you won't learn. Hmm? Okay. Any other? So, is there one person only there for that? No. Mm, two, two or three or four or five, ten or twenty people will be there to take decision or even look after it. So is it a merit or demerit? Merit. I shouldn't be running all around. Other peoples are also there. 
they will also handle the partners are also there they will also handle then <laughs> mutual agency everything is based on the mutual agreement or the mutual trust they have that's it both positive and negative the merit part one of one for each other and for all ensures that all the partners work in common interest i'll make sure that he also work in common interest some other person will make sure that i work in common interest a mutual agreement will be made right a mutual agreement should be made because randomly i cannot take a decision and go others will question me they should agree an agreement and then only they will take the decision that's the one of the merit and coming to the limitation limitation same thing out of the 10 partners in the banking firm they are doing everything good one of them started looting money from it will it impact that person only or the entire partners entire, entire partners got it is that a limitation or a merit limitation even if i don't do anything my partner is doing some misbehave i am also affected by it that's a very bad thing so say limitation that's something come up okay then unlimited liability even if there are partners if liability comes everyone should bear it if two crore is the liability 10 partners how many 20 lakhs should be the liability of each or based on the however the agreement is based on that the liability is unlimited then fate of going concern as i already told about the robber one of the robber died how will the future goes we don't know how the other one will carry it forward how we don't know how the i am talking about robbery now i shouldn't say that <laughs> we'll talk about the business is there okay so one of the partner is died has died one of the partner died so in the future we don't know what's going to happen right how will the other partner do the business will he give the successors something or some will he take proper decision without the other one so the future still it's a limitation till now for all the things is the future limited or merit huf sole proprietorship and for this one yeah. partnership yeah. everything it's a limitation everything is a limitation why there is no proper structure also in these three there is no proper structure okay then succession i told about the ownership <laughs> depends sometimes the partner will take hold and give go there won't be any proper succession until and unless a proper agreement is made so it's a limitation <laughs> are the three, three things clear till now three types okay so fourth one limited liability partnership in the name itself it's mentioned limited liability partnership so the limit there will be unlimited liability or limited liability okay based on which act limited liability partnership act okay so till now you understood the name will be the act's name sometimes if it asks you can directly you can directly go for the option without even checking the dates or anything if the questions act like that because uh, asked like that because in the past it has asked like that based on which act partnership was formed options was directly there so likewise it will also come up then <clears throat> it contains features of the corporate form as well as proprietary form both the features will be there proprietary form will be there and also corporate so which among the following have corporate and proprietary form huf will be there partnership will be there uh, first one proprietorship will be there then llp will be there answer will be llp likewise only question come it will be very direct questions are very direct 
sometimes it will come from outside like um which among the following companies come under llp that you will be learning in the third third chapter i guess yeah like i told you right director of this company who is that like that you will be knowing it anyway then next one features will be talking about the features we will be comparing it with the traditional partnership and we will be talking about the llp first one liability partnership unlimited liability will be there and in the case of llp as the name suggests itself limited, limited liability limited liability why this does away with a major limitation of traditional partnership how 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 based on what we cannot simply say that we cannot simply say that there is limited liability based on what i didn't mention that in the partnership only to tell it here <laughs> there won't be any personal liability of the partner okay there won't be any personal liability of the partner you know cafe coffee day heard about it okay i'll tell you a story about that the owner the ceo of the cafe coffee day committed suicide thinking that the entire liability of the company was his because we cannot people will be going through different mental uh, structure or mental uh, whatever mental or oh, psychological thing through the times that time he thought that way and that was one of the reason mentioned for his suicide so likewise in this case there is no personal liability will coming will be coming under the llp only not personal other than in case of fraud if you commit a fraud in llp that will be a personal liability what is in the case of partnership it will be a personal liability also in the case of partnership it was a personal liability also that was the thing i didn't mention there to mention it here the traditional partnership liability comes to personal here no personal liability clear next one incorporation is mandatory they should be incorporated they should be incorporated mandatory incorporation should be there that's a merit of what llp that's a merit of what llp and partnership was based on which act partnership act this is based on llp act okay perfect and which is coming under ministry of corporate affairs okay this comes under which ministry ministry of corporate affairs so the credibility is more okay that's a merit then it is a legal entity separate from its partners separate from its partners it's another entity completely another entity the partnership partners were there and they were they were based on and the the liability were on them here it's as a legal entity separate said merit or demerit merit. merit so everything which will be under this thing will be a merit mostly it will be merit that's why this thing was formed based on this act okay to help the partners from all the liabilities and everything okay so there said they there we had a limit right 2 to 20 one person can form a partner no two people can form a partnership 10 in case of bank and 20 in other case other firms so 20 was the limit in traditional partnership 20 was the limit 20 people can form a partnership in here there is no limit two or more no limit in the number of partners so it's a merit why it's a merit there won't be any liability for individual if there is profit it will be equally divided everything will be there so it's a merit okay roc is the administrating authority roc registrar of company 
will be the administrating authority in the case of what llp llp roc will be the administrating authority and in the case of partnership register of the respective states will be the authority which is more uh, what prominent or more what credible roc will be more credible is that a merit or demerit then merit huh? who said demerit did someone say demerit okay okay it's a merit so it's a merit then statutory complaints in the case of in the case of partnership there was no statutory complaints here it said limitation designated partners to ensure the complaints however in comparison with the companies complaints are fewer or simple so in the partnership form each partner should take care of everything and they will have an overall look here one partner should take care of one thing and they will be taking care so if something happens to something for example hr department is failing that person should be answerable for that so it's a limitation everyone won't look at everything okay in llps then every partner of llp is only agent of firm they are agents of firm in an llp they are marketing the firm every partner should be marketing the firm in the case of every partner of firm is agent of firm and also of other partners as i already told if one partner did the crime all, if the, all the partners will be questionable right that's the problem here it won't be there is that a merit or demerit yes. merit is that clear till now how is it it's very boring but still you can relate it then no. we'll do the questions oh, we have time a lot of time well, after finishing this we'll do the questions also then you will understand how the question patterns so the last topic the last topic company company based on which act company act partnership is based on llp is based on hf is based on okay there will be an option hindu undivided acts okay company based on company act which act based on company act 2013 based on company act there are many companies private limited company public limited company government company they won't be doing anything mm. uh, there is a company called elsid investment have you heard about elsid investment elsid elsid e l c i d elsid investment there was a company i i think it's still there in the stock market its stock price was around 17 rupees and it wasn't moving at all for a long time it wasn't moving at all and the major shareholders of uh, asian paints i guess asian paints were the investors there and that that investment based on asian paints was based on this elsid investment and this company will give a dividend of the stock price was 17 or 16 that time will give a dividend of for per, st per stock will give a dividend of 50 60 or 40 more than the stock price you understand even the stock price is less but still they were giving dividend amount per stock at a huge price which was the profit earned from the pain company like that company was there but it was based on another company like that okay company has to file moa and aoa what is moa okay what is aoa moa is based on what based on the structures aoa or the main laws and everything which should obey articles which all things should be obeyed that is based on aoa okay so control system is company is actually it is based on company side so what will be the uh, structure which will be uh, holding it apart holding it company side sir company side 
So, corporate function is SEBI Act 1992, regulation of capital market. So, these companies can come into public, right? Companies can become public, right? They will get, uh, you heard about IPO, initial public offering. After everything, SEBI regulation and everything, a company can become public and you, you even can buy the shares from the stock market. And that will be regulated by SEBI. Okay, what is the full form of SEBI? Okay, we'll be learning it in the coming chapters. Okay. So, one of the best thing about a company is that there will be proper audit. Proper audit will be there. Till now we are discussing about something. There won't be much proper audits and all. We were not talking about much proper audit and everything. In company, there will be proper audit. So, if someone is doing something bad, we will come to know. There, in the partnership or in the LLPs or something, if some money goes away, they will be like, oh, I lost it. Even if he is stealing it, I lost it. Like that it will be. Yeah, proper audit will be there. Oh, which part of the company spent this much? Why did they spend that? And is that uh, per the rule? Is that per how much they should spend? And all proper audit will be there. Okay, clear. And have you heard about quarterly results? Huh? Quarterly results. What is a quarter? How many months constitute a quarter? Four months. Four months. And every four months, companies will show their revenue, their profit, whatever their debt and everything. That's called quarterly results. And based on the quarterly results, also, also these companies' stock price will fluctuate, increase or decrease. Okay. And based on that only, the dividend, dividends are also given. Okay. Minimum number of persons in a private company. How much? Two. Two. In a public company. And comparatively, lower number of minimum members to use the formation. Okay. How many members are needed in private? Two. Two. In a public? Seven. Seven. Okay. That's not so important. And maximum numbers in a private? Two hundred. And in a public? Five. Open. Open. Yeah. Then there are restrictions on transfer of shares. In a private company, they cannot easily sell shares and all. But in a public company, it's a public company, if I want to buy one share, say Saturday, I cannot buy. Till Monday to Friday, between 9.30 and 3.30, I can buy it. Till if it's someone is there to sell it, I can buy it. Okay. So, the shares may be freely tradable on stock exchange via listing. Okay. Minimum number of directors. How many in private? Public. And then most of the public company, one of the minister will be the direct director. Okay. Private companies are exempted from constituting such companies of the board of directors. So, audit committees, ESR committee, any other committees, they are exempted. If they want, they can. If they want to create a board of auditors or board of any other directors or board of anything, they can do that, but it's not mandatory. But in the public, what do you think? Public company. It's a public company. So there should be proper board. Proper board should be there. So did you turn it off or power it off? It's fine, fine. Yeah. So next one. It can start business upon incorporation coming to the private company. Incorporation. By incorporation, they can start a business. Why? A public limited company is required to obtain certificate of commencement of business in addition to certificate of incorporation. So, which will be easy. Who can easily incorporate things up? Private. In public, it will be a little bit difficult and all. <clears throat> Till now, all clear? Can we go for the questions? Okay. How was the first chapter? Is it easy? 
boring bcg is boring that's the purpose of bcg they added it to make you guys bored about it while discussing the previous year questions you will know that how boring the questions are because everything is so direct one second take notes dash right you can write everyone ready write the question dash is a feature of dash is a feature of partnership form of business dash is a feature of partnership form of business option a separate legal entity okay okay i'll slow down dash is a feature of i'll do one thing Today. Okay, I'll do that. Very easy. Just think, think as a partner. You are having a partner. Hmm. What is the answer? The lifetime limited, limited scope of raising fund. Only two people are there. Two people are only there. I twenty people are there. Let's see. Twenty people are there. Is it limited or more? Twenty limited. From the given options, see the options. Separate legal entity from the firm. Limited scope of raising availability. Uh, sorry, raising finance. The liability of the partner is limited to his contribution to capital. Registration of partnership is compulsory. So, but the limited finance is the Okay. Can I post the next one? Yes. Okay. What is a retail business? Um, hmm? hmm. Okay. So thing like that. Both A and B. Both A and B. So a sole proprietor can do that, right? A retail business. I can do that. I can start a retail shop. Or I can do it as a group. Is that possible? Yeah, of course. So both A and B. Are you getting the questions? Is it easy? Just relate it and answer it. That's all. Next question. What is perpetual succession? There's a word called, word called perpetual succession in the question. No, no. What is the word perpetual succession? Uh, if a death happen, if a death happen in the of the partner or anyone in the family or something, then insolvency. How does it work? The perpetual succession. Can I read the definition for you? Then you will understand it. Okay. Perpetual succession means that a death bar insolvency of any member of a concern does not affect its continuity. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't affect the continuity of the business. So based on that, what will be the answer? Does not have any perpetual succession. So all proprietorship. Got it? Is it clear? Can I go for the next question? Fourth question. See the fourth question. In a Hindu undivided family, liability of dash is unlimited. Tanta. Crazy. Good. You will come, you will see a lot of same kind of question. Which is not a feature of LLP. Next question. Hmm? Existence? Yeah. Correct answer. Option B. All the other things are the features of LLP. Which of the following I'll post it. Which of the following 
is treated as a separate legal entity from its members. We only discussed it one of the LLP. Answer is LLP. You see, everything is based on the point. Nothing is coming apart. These are past question papers only. Questions only from the past papers. See the next question. See the next question. The choice of an appropriate form of business organization largely depends on what all things? One, two, and three. One, two, and three. All things should be because I'll say ease of formation should be easy to form. Yeah. Second one, continuity and stability. We already discussed it. How important is it? Then the last one, liability aspects. Based on the liability also, we should think. So the answer is one, two, and three. Option D. Again, the same question is repeated another year. Which form of business organization has a separate legal entity? Same question happened again. LLP. Example of an, I didn't put it because the question repeated again. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll tell you an example of an LLP, a cooperative society. Cooperative society is an example of an LLP. Okay. Heard about cooperative society? Yeah. So, the question will come like, which among the following? There will be in the HUF partnership firm. There will be sole proprietorship. And the fourth option will be cooperative society. So the answer will be cooperative society, like that. What is the liability of each partner? The post here, once again. What is the liability of each partner under LLP? What is the limited? Okay. Another funny question also gave. I'll show that question. If you know the topics at least, you are you will be able to score one mark. We'll see the question. Partners. Partners. If you know the topic, you will get one mark. Just like that. Just knowing the topic. Next one. Who can be the head of HUF? Karta. Okay. The other options are manager, Karta, co partner director. Who is Karta? Okay. Next one. Members of the HUF are called option one. Partners, co partners. See, see this. Next one. Which amongst the following is a feature of LLP? So, you know the features of LLP, right? You learned it. First one, should I post in the group? Yeah. Oh, I'll post it. Among the following separate legal entity from the same topic, see how many questions came. On the same topic. Next one. Another. Head of HUF is known as. <laughs> Next question. In case of HUF, what are liabilities of co partner and Karta? Limited <laughs> for co partner and unlimited for Karta. Okay, great. So, one tricky question. To form a partnership, to form a, I'll post it in the group. To form a partnership, the minimum capital contribution should be. There is no minimum limit. There is no minimum limit. That's the answer. Okay, next, next question. It's a very tricky question. Karta in joint HUF 
family business has first one unlimited liability option b limited liability then option c joint liability and none of the unlimited liability see how many times it repeated so this time also there is a high chance that it will come then next one which which corporation has characteristics of both partnership and separate legal entity llp okay next one oh again december also what is karta's liability in huf limited ha huh, another question liability of other co partners are limited but this one is detail page see 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 i'll post this question in the group see this this can trick you this one is clear bit important this liability of other co partners are limited limited unlimited limited up to an extent of share except karta since the option limited to the up to the extent of share except karta is there you should always go with that because it's how are we saying it is limited with respect to karta with respect to karta otherwise we can say we cannot say that limited alone with respect to karta it is limited so option 1 will be the correct answer option a will be the correct answer you got it yeah we will be always comparing something to something right like that we are comparing here the limited liability with respect to karta's share that's why option a is the correct answer again the liability of each member of huf business is first option limited to a sum of some as declared by him in general public wrong unlimited wrong limited to the extent of his share in business except karta option c will be the answer again repeated okay so the affairs of a company will be overseen by who options are shareholders employees board of directors board of directors the entire affairs will be taken care by board of directors so in an huf in an hindu and undivided family business shares individual shares of each co partner is first one depends upon his efficiency is that correct no no, no. i told you if i am dumb still i'll get the chance okay till i am a co owner next one keeps changing on death or birth of co partner is fixed keeps changing annually is it necessary is it necessary we are not talking about the shares will be always fixed the ratios will be different okay accordingly they will create shares and they will uh they what they can do whatever they want with the shares if the shares is 10000 now if one person is entering they will increase the number of shares and they will divide so the shares will be same it is fixed as always okay that is the correct answer next one okay limited liability partnership is constituted under option a companies act option b limited liability partnership act option c partnership act none of that none is applicable yeah. see that's all next one and this is one good question sole proprietary business is suitable when the market is first option is non existent option b national 
C, local and global. Local. I told. Think about the child now. Local. Okay. In the local area, they will be the king. Even if KFC come, the local fried chicken will be better than KFC. Whatever. Next. Limited liability. Uh, and again, limited liability partnership is constituted under which act? Yes. LLP Act. Again, it came. Not this one. CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Okay. Which of the, I'll post it in the group. Which of the following is correct? Max number of members is 50 in case of. Okay, correct. Everyone got it? You remember? You understood that. Even if it's boring, everything is direct. That's why it's boring. <laughs> Next question. Oh, this question is out of syllabus. Just I'll ask it. The logo of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India is suggestive of dash. First one is integrity, vigilance, professional, none of this. Wrong. Vigilance. Okay. Vigilance. You guys are learning what? No, you guys are learning to become a CA. And it stands and it stands for vigilance. Okay. The logo stands for vigilance. Then this question this is an important i told you about the salary part of hgf right they cannot draw anything as salary the question is income tax act hgf cannot card which type of dash first one is profit second one salary three house property four is other resources Salary. They will ask it differently, but the answer is salary. They cannot withdraw salary. It's your then HF dash be formed by a group of people who do not constitute a family. Option A can, option B cannot, should not, or may. Cannot. It's a family business. Cannot be randomly formed from a group of people. So the num number of directors of a private company? Two. 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 Remember, public? Three. Next one. Economic activities are driven cause of dash. First one, self-interest. Second one, selfless motive. Third one, human welfare. Fourth one, self-satisfaction. <laughs> That's the whole point about economic activity. If it's self-satisfaction, it is. Okay, so answer will be self-interest. Based on self-interest. Next one. Economic activities. Should I post in the group? Yes. What's the answer? It's a very direct question. Emotional sentiments. Next question. What is the question? The choice of an appropriate form of business organization depends upon ease of formation. We already discussed this. Diability of aspects, capital adequacy. Everything will depend. Okay. So answer is option D. 1, 2 and Three. Okay. Last one. Not the last one. Sorry. Companies Act 2013 provides registration for dash a one person company, 
small company, all of the above. Is that direct? Is anything indirect till now? Defunct company, one second. Tom and we have discussed. I think it's similar to the Tom and company, sir. It's not functioning properly. Yeah. Question. Business as an institution is first one, job creator. Second one, job seeker. Third one, both. Fourth one, none of the above. Business, job creator. Job creator. Okay. Employee will be a job seeker. Which of the following is part of HUF? First one, Hindu and Sikh family. Second one, Parsi family. Third one, both A and B. Fourth one, none of the above. Both A and B. Parsi, Hindu, Sikh, everything will come under HUF. This is a good one. Do you remember about the... You'll just say, check the question. Which of the following is organic objective of business? Huh? Yeah, but see the options. Yes, fitness of the human resources. Okay. Many questions are only from HUF. Next question is also from HUF about Karta. Okay. <laughs> ah, this one. The attribute of a Profession does not include the group C. The attribute of a profession does not include profession is rendering of services Pro profession is rendering of services special uh, of specialized nature of a fee under a certificate of practice that also has self imposed code of conduct that also has self imposed code of conduct so certificate of service from government. Okay. That's a new point, right? Okay. What are the features of BCK? Option A, sustainability. Option B, techni technical. Option C, economic. Option D, sociology. Sustainable. BCK should be sustainable. Next. Which is not a part of HUF. Muslim family, Sikh, Jain, Hindu. Muslim family. Which, next one. Which of the which of these is not a characteristics of LLP? LLP is administered by registering state authority. Option B is not involves mutual agency function. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none. LLP is administered by registering. Registering state authority. Remember, partnership is by registering state authority. ROC, register of company is based on LLP. Simple things. We only discuss everything here and still, but just good. At least you guys are recollecting. Good. Which of the 
following is a form of business organization. Option A, temple, church, mosque, partnership. Partnership. Dash is a form of business that is owned, managed, and controlled by an individual. Sole proprietorship. Okay. Only in one individual. China. Please. Yeah. Then, individual owing and running the business is known as single owner, sole trader, single trader, businessman. What if he's married? <laughs> he's called sole trader. Okay. Sole trader. S O L E. Sole trader. Now you won't forget it, right? <laughs> Which is the oldest business form? First one, partnership, HUF, corporate society, sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorship is the oldest business form. Which of the following has most stable existence? Just think like that. Sole proprietorship was the ancient one. Then it comes to partnership. Then it comes to LLP. And improved, 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 it becomes company. So which will be the most stable one? Company. Okay, think like that. What is the maximum strength of HUF? Based on production. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Business affairs are managed by the head of the family known as Karta. Karta's liability is dash. Limited, unlimited. Unlimited. Maximum number of partners in a partnership firm. <laughs> Okay. Then everything we already discussed. Everything is repeating again and again. I'll give you the questions in the WhatsApp. Everything good? Yes. Did you learn something today? Okay. Will you go home and read it? Yes. yes. I'll send the PDF in the group so that it will be easy rather than going through all the topics. Just read that. Okay, and I say bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.